This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to part two of the Justice League vs. Avengers series. With this part of the series, we're looking at some of the more major heroes that are either in leading roles or take a more major role in the Justice League series. And that's mainly because basically everyone who's a leading member of a show, like the title character, all make it into the final entry of this, which is the really big members, the founders, and heroes that are just so big in that universe. I think they deserve to be here. So everyone here, although did either get a leading movie in phases 1 to 3, or had a pretty major role in the DCAU, they aren't in you know, with the exception of Nightwing, weren't really in the title of any of the DCAU projects. And Nightwing was just through a rebrand of it in the animated series. So, as you remember from the last time, we were tied at 6 6. So, let's go into the first round of this. And for this round, we're looking at. Captain Adam against Scarlet Witch. And, well, technically neither were leading in the, either of their movies. I think that their importance still puts them here. And I think that Wanda would definitely win at this, even though she is not as powerful as she would later become. She is still powerful enough to do the best job against Thanos compared to really anyone else. And although Captain Adam is powerful, he does have weaknesses, and if his suit is breached, then it seems things will go pretty bad for him. And it doesn't seem that hard to do, especially if you have a lot of power, which Wanda definitely does, and we give our first win to this second part to the Avengers. And our next round is going to look at Doctor Fate going against Doctor Strange. And while both are powerful sorcerers, I easily give this to Fate. This version of Doctor Strange, although taking the title of Sorcerer Supreme, is not the greatest ever sorcerer ever. He does have a lot more to learn and is still relatively inexperienced, especially compared to Fate, who is just a lot more experienced and I think just deals with a lot more impressive stuff, although we don't get to see as much of Fate as really other members. I think that Fate just would easily be able to destroy Doctor Strange in this, which gives the Justice League its first win. And gets us, once again, to a point where they're tied. And our next round is going to look at the Atom going against Ant-Man. And just in case you weren't clear, this is going to be the Scott Lang Ant-Man. And in this fight, I'm obviously going to give this to the Atom. And that's through just a simple fact that he is a scientist and knows this streaming technology really well since he invented his own, while Scott is just using the technology created by Hank Pym. So, I think, you know, when any problems occur, Ray is going to be able to solve them far better than Scott. Both don't have really any offensive weapons to use, although Scott does have some of those discs that can make things grow. But ultimately, I would say that being able to use his intelligence and his just better knowledge of all the shrieking and the different properties with that, I would say that Ray Palmer gets a pretty easy win here. Now going to our next one, I am going to be looking at Batgirl fighting Gamora. 
and this is the Gamora from the 2014 timeline, so I'll only be taking a look at her really in Endgame and just using the Guardians films is kind of just a way to see how well she fights. And looking at the two of them, I'd say they're pretty evenly matched, with Batgirl not only having a good amount of training and skills before she was trained by Batman, who is one of the, if not the best fighters of the world, and then Gamora is trained to be very deadly by Thanos. And looking at the two of them, honestly, I could see this going either way. But I think with Gamora having a more recent change of heart, and the fact that Batgirl is really well trained by Batman and has a good amount of gadgets to take her on, I think that Batgirl could easily take this, and I'm giving her the slight edge in this fight. Looking at the next round, we have Nightwing fighting Okoye. Both are extremely well-trained fighters. Both know did really well martial arts combats through their different trainings with Nightwing being trained from a very young age by Batman, who, as I mentioned earlier, is one of the best fighters to really ever live. And with Okoye Ming managing to make it atop of the Dora Milaje, she's also extremely skilled and an extremely good fighter. And once again, we have one where, honestly, they're really close. And again, I could see this going really either way. But I think that with his training from such a young age and his more acrobatic fighting style that Nightwing can take a slight edge here and be able to win in this. And, again, I think this could go either way, but I think this is another one due to Batman's extremely good training and him just being really skilled and having his really good acrobatic skills gets him to the slight edge and would give him the victory more times than he loses. The next one is honestly people who are just about the same level of skill, but also almost the exact same personality-wise, and that is Booster Gold and Star-Lord. And both of them, as I said, they're about relatively the same in terms of skill, and including weaponry and everything. The only real difference is that Booster Gold can time travel. And... We don't really see him do this during Justice League Unlimited and his one episode. So although he is from the future, it doesn't seem like he can time travel really whenever he wants. And based on that, I'd say that Star-Lord actually does a really good job here with him being just a little bit more of a warrior and Booster Gold being a little more of a joke. Although he is definitely good enough to at least be part of the Justice League. I'd say that, you know, he's kept out of most missions for a good reason. And it's not just because of his hunger for fame. I think that he isn't, you know, the best warrior ever. And all the same does go for Star-Lord. I think he is just better than Booster Gold and would pretty easily win this. And even if you can time travel, it doesn't really matter if, you know, you wind up dead and Star-Lord probably could kill him if he wanted. So, yeah, I'm giving this one to Star-Lord. And the next round is going to be one that honestly is pretty close. And one character does have an advantage with Star-Girl versus the Wasp. And both are... Having relatively the same amount of impact they have, the ability to shoot beams of energy, they can fly, and they're able to let's get a lot of useful stuff done, but I think that Boss's ability to shrink just gives her that slight edge, and it gives her the ultimate victory in this. 
there's also the fact that Stargirl is just really young, and she definitely is still immature, and I think that that could also go towards the Wasp's advantage, because that just gives her this slight little edge where she's going to be able to do just a little bit better, and people think just do a little more about it, and I think that although Stargirl is good and ability-wise, they're nearly identical, the Wasp just takes this with a pretty easy win. The next one we're looking at is our second to last round for this video. That's looking at Hawk fighting the Winter Soldier or White Wolf. Or, you know, just simply Bucky Burns. And this one, I think, is another pretty easy win for Bucky. He is far more experienced. He is far less hot-headed compared to the character of Hawk and... Since he was in the military, he's able to better strategize, and that just gives him an easy edge, and I give the win to him. And now it's time for our final round, where one of two things will happen. We will either get a win for the Avengers, or it will be tied up once again. And looking at it, we have the question going up against Nick Fury. And well, both are good fighters, and definitely willing to kill when they need to. I have to give this to Fury, who is a master spy, very, very skilled, and was able to become the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. And yeah, honestly, I think that Fury really easily takes this and gives us a winner for this series so far. Right now, the Avengers are in the lead, but we will see if they'll be able to keep that lead, or if the Justice League will be able to overtake them in the next one. And we'll really see, because this is already being decided in the moment when I look at them. Although I did match them up, I wanted to have my decisions be more in the moment. And I think that, so far I'm definitely agreeing with it. But what we've seen so far, I'd say the Avengers are slightly more powerful, but then again, we haven't looked at the heavy hitters from the Justice League, so our next one's going to be taking a look at all the big ones, including Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, and the Hulk, and we'll take a look at all of them, and I'm really excited for that. It should be out next week, and... Oh, I know what you think. Please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.